Good afternoon, everybody. Thought I'd do a little video today on my uh, Bear Montana longbow. I've had this thing since uh, 2017. Uh, my father gave it to me as a Christmas present. I know he bought it used. I know they sell new for, it's either $400 or $500. Uh, this particular one is 64 inches overall, 50 pounds, and 28 inches. I couldn't tell you the material that it's made out of. I guess I could have looked it up, but it's not really, it's not really my uh, forte. Uh, I really like the bow. I just made the quiver for it. Real, I'm really happy with the way the quiver turned out. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this bow is it, it is a good hunting bow. Uh, and that, that's what I use it as. It's actually my backup hunting bow. So if I'm out at my cabin that's two hours away and it starts raining or snowing, I, I'm not gonna go out with uh, the bow I primarily shoot. I'm gonna take this just because if this thing gets wet or I drop it or slip or you know, it's nasty outside, uh, I don't mind taking this in the bad weather. Not that my other bow wouldn't do well in the bad weather. It would probably do better than this because that's the one I shoot all the time. I just don't like taking it out if it's pouring down rain. And th this I'm okay with. Uh, the bow shoots good, but it has a ton of hand shock. I didn't notice it when this was my primary bow that how much hand shock it had until I got my Black Widow longbow and I picked this up one day and was like, oh my gosh, this thing has a crap ton of hand shock. Uh, I have done some things to make the hand shock better. I made the brace height longer. I'm about eight and a quarter inches. Uh, I always shoot with the quiver, but I just made this quiver for the bow and I actually taped a piece of metal on the bottom side here uh, to give it a little bit more weight to help with the hand shock and it did it, it, it helped it a lot all that being said I'm, I'm not going to shoot this bow more than you know 10 arrows at a time just because if if I was to take this to a 3d shoot and shoot it all day I'd want to saw my arm off that's how bad the hand shock is uh, but for, for what it for what it is four or five hundred dollar bow new I don't know like you can find them used, I'm sure. Uh, it's a quality hunting bow. And if 3D archery, I, I would say you could get by with it. I noticed at about 15, 18 yards, anything beyond that, it really drops. So you, you really gotta account for uh, anything, you know, 20, 25 yards out, out that way. You, you really gotta, you gotta aim high <laughs> and let that arrow fall in there. Uh, uh, I do like the bow. I'll, I'll never get rid of it just because I never get rid of anything. And like I said, it'll, it'll be my backup hunting bow just for that. So, and maybe, you know, if I'm out and I get a deer early with my widow, uh, and I still got time and maybe, maybe I will try and get a deer with this one if I'm lucky enough to, to get a, two of them. But you know, I, I don't know. Like I said, my primary thought for this bow was bad weather hunting. That, that, that's what I've set it up for. That's what I'm going to do with it. And that's why I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, like I said, the only negative thing I got to say about this bow is it's got a crap ton of hand shock. Outside of that, it shoots good. It just, it'll just beat you to death. If you're shooting it all day, it'll beat you to death. Anyway, that's all I got to say about it. And I'll leave you guys alone at that. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.